Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter 50 from Two Worlds, a novel of friends and foes from strange places by Laura T. Lee. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where me find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. Chapter 50. When they reached the Empire State Building, they were immediately met by a strange sight. Police cars surrounded the humongous skyscraper. When Lily requested access inside, the officers all said no. Eventually, Lily decided to take a risk and asked the captain himself, who said, we can't risk another landmark being destroyed. Anyway, I'll be fired if the Empire State Building turns into a freaking monster. Lily took his response as a longer version of no. Frustrated, Lily led the others behind a dumpster nearby. I am going to get in that building, she whispered. Lily, you must be crazy. Can't you see the police? Tara hissed at her. Truth be told, Lily wasn't sure why she wanted to get inside, but she decided not to argue any longer. She grabbed a grenade from her bag and pressing the detonation button, she kicked it up. It sailed into the air with a massive boom. Police officers whipped around with shouts of surprise. Lily took her chance and let her friends inside the Empire State Building unnoticed. Lily had been inside the skyscraper many times. However, she was stunned by the building's emptiness. There were no lights and Lily got confused as she rummaged through her bomb back until Parker handed her a small flashlight. When Lily clicked it on, it expanded into a full-size glowing shield. It reminded her too much of Teresa, but she kept it anyway. Brandishing the shield, she crept up a flight of stairs, closely followed by her friends. Soon, they reached a door that said, Keep out. Lily pointed at the sign. Is that me? Or does that sound like Sophie would be in there? Nobody answered. Just stay here. I'm going in. Lily opened the door and walked through. Unsurprisingly, the room was empty. A small lamp shone dimly. Cautious. Lily turned off the shield and was sliding it into her pocket when someone caught her from behind. Crap! Lily struggled to escape, her arm in the grasp of a stranger. The woman hissed in her ear. Hello, Lily. Where is my sister? Now, Lily knew who she was talking to. Sophie, for the hundredth time, I don't know. Sophie sighed. Pity. Gray mist surrounded Lily's head. She could feel Teresa's sister forcing her way into her mind, trying to take over. Get out of my head, she snarled. She kicked backward with one foot and Sophie stumbled away. Lily staggered to the wall, fumbling a bomb from her weapons bag. As Sophie approached, she spiked it as far away as possible from her knocking the sorceress off her feet. Sophie struck at Lily, sending her tumbling over the floor. Lily got to her feet and backed against the wall. In front of her, Teresa's sister snarled. Her white hair was tangled from the fight. As Sophie thrust out her hand, someone came out of nowhere and tackled her. Ack! Sophie fell over, 
arms flailing. When Ida stood a small distance away near the doorway, her eyes filled with fear and uncertainty. Lily could tell what she was thinking. Should I run? You miserable girl, Sophie muttered. She sent a gray missile flying at Winida, who pressed herself against the far wall, shaking. It was now or never. Lily jumped over the missile, grabbing her flashlight. She ran for Winida and slammed the activation button with her thumb on the flashlight. Instantly, it expanded into a shield. And only just in time, the mist missile detonated against the gray dome. Sparks flew by the millions. Apparently, the shield couldn't stand the attack because it flickered and cracked. Sophie growled and sent an entire wall of gray mist sailing toward both of them. When Ida yelped, and threw her arms up. Lily used her crack shield to protect her face. Sophie disappeared in a flash of mist just as Lily chucked her shield at the sorceress. Blong! It smashed against the wall and shattered into a million pieces. The door to the room crashed open. Jake and Parker rushed inside. Winida! Jake rushed forward and gave his little sister a big hug. All right, go away, Winida grumbled. Before I ask Parker to smack you. Oh, come on, Parker held up what was left of his flashlight shield. This cost me a ton of money, he said, tossing it back at Lily. I'm sorry. Lily said innocently. While Parker's back was turned, she stuck out her tongue at him. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for chapter 51. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.